everybody, welcome to a Monday Mic Talk. God bless you. Hope you have your Bible open and your coffee brewing. Whatever time of day you're uh, watching this, I hope that um, you've had a good day. And, I'm, and again, let me pray a blessing over you. May God bless this Monday. For his glory, bless you so he, you can bless others in his name. That's how blessing works. And I pray God's blessing upon you guys today. You have blessed me and Sarah richly. We're so grateful for you here at Song and Sword. Um, again, text your prayers to us. We're praying for dozens of you every week. And I think that makes a difference. So send your prayers to us still. And uh, thank you guys uh, for tuning in and supporting what we're doing, uh, preaching the word of God and teaching it every day. One hour a week is what we're asking. And we think God will change your life through the word of God. Thank you for your donations. You can go to Song and Sword, make a donation. And, uh, and it's still not too late uh, to sign up for our May 21st event. So we're excited about the number of people that signed up already. And excited to be together and fellowship with you all. Listen, uh, if you missed yesterday, I hope that you go and listen to uh, the sermon just called Witness. It's about John the Apostle. It's the end of the book of John. It's really important for understanding witness of the early church and our faith. Today I want to get into Romans, Romans chapter 3. And, um, and uh, Paul quotes in Romans chapter 3, he quotes... Uh, Psalm 14, 3, but I'm going to start in verse 9, Romans chapter 3, verse 9. What then? Are we Jews any better off? No, not at all. For we have already charged that all, both Jews and Greeks, are under sin. As it is written, no one is righteous, no, not one. No one understands, no one seeks God. All have turned aside, together they have become worthless, no one does good, not even one. How many people do good? How many people do good? Let's count them, people. How many people are good? None. Not me, not you. Paul's making a point here when he's talking about Jewishness. What, what is Jewishness? What does that have to do with the whole scheme of things? Are Jews better than Gentiles? Are the descendants of Abraham better than everybody else? The, the Jewish um, tradition, by the time it got to the first century, the answer would have been yes. Yeah, we're God's chosen people. And they were God's chosen people. They were God's chosen people so that they could bless the whole world through God's son, Jesus Christ. See, to have a savior, you have to have a nation. And to have a nation, you have to have a family. To have a family, you have to have a person named Abraham. Abraham to the family to the nation, and we have the King, Savior, Jesus. That's how God played it out historically. But back to the reality. Are Jews more righteous than Gentiles? The answer is no. Christians who have been Christians for 50 years more righteous than the person getting drunk down at the pub tonight? No. There is no one righteous. Not one. And the tendency is, for those of us who have walked with Jesus for a long time, we tend to think, well, I'm pretty righteous. Actually, compared to other people, I am righteous. And, and I think it's interesting and it's good for us on this Monday to get back to this reality because it changes the way we think. You know, there's been a, there have been <clears throat> historically lots of people making judgments about others, going back in people's past, looking uh, at the things people have done in the past. And what you're going to find if you look closely in your past, you look closely in my past, no matter, no matter who you are, you go back into anybody's past, do an investigation of any kind, a week ago, two weeks ago, five weeks ago, 10 years ago, you're going to find unrighteousness. So here's how this flips our attitude. If you're unrighteous and I'm unrighteous, and by the way, I'm not judging you, that's what the Bible says about us, then here's the reality. Number one, I'm a little less haughty. I don't think of myself too highly. I don't go around thinking, oh, I'm righteous, I'm a good guy, I deserve everything that God's given me. Uh, if I know that I'm unrighteous, then I don't become conceited. And number two, I'm willing to give the grace to others that I've received through Jesus Christ. So if I'm not righteous, then it's by the grace of God that I've been freed and I live. And now I can hit the streets and the schools, and my workplace, and every place that I go today, and I can go, I'm gonna give the grace of God 
to, to those other unrighteous people around me because I have been given the grace of God in my unrighteousness. I hope that spurs you on to good deeds today, to loving others, to being gracious. God bless you guys. See you soon.